The airplane is so unique because it's, it's a World War II veteran of the Pacific. When somebody walks up and looks at this aircraft, it was important to me when I restored it that it represented what it was 70 years ago, that there isn't anything on it that, that wasn't there 70 years ago. And people go and look at a, an airplane from this era, it, it should represent that era. And in 1945, all the hardware was CAD plated. It was a Type 2 Class 2, which is a silver CAD. Nowadays, when you buy AN hardware, AN means Army, Navy. AN hardware, it's all gold colored. So I had to buy all the hardware that I was going to need, and then I sent it out to a FAA approved plating shop, and they stripped the old the gold off and re CAD plated it to the silver. And like with the propeller, when I ordered the propeller, I, I asked that they use the same decal on it that was used in 1945. And the, the airplane has smooth tires. They're not tread. Well, you can't get those tires anymore, so Dressler Tire Company uh, came out with these, and I bought a set for the airplane. All the screws were, were, pretty, were um, slotted in screws. And uh, so I, uh, I had to use slotted head screws. And they're miserable to work with because your screwdriver slips out of the slot all the time. And it wasn't too long after the 1945 that Phillips started being used on airplanes, and, which is a great improvement. Even on the, on the firewall, where all the leads that come through the firewall well, they just use putty, just old regular old putty to seal around the cables and that came through. And that's, and the, the ducting, you know, nowadays everybody uses um, the rec real flexible silicon ducting. Well, back in those days, it was aluminum ducting. So that's the authenticity I had to go through to get the, the uh, hardware correct. It's, it's our, our heritage, it's our American heritage that people can come up to this airplane and look at it and know that 70 years ago, this is what it looked like. This is what those pilots flew. You know, people need to understand what our, our country did during World War II, the people that were involved in that. And uh, they need to look at the courage, you know, and the dedication, not only of the people that fought in the war, but the people that built these airplanes. Um, excuse me. I get emotional. Well, you know, when, when I think about the people that flew these, I don't know if I would have had the courage to do what, you know, these pilots that flew these. But they were, you know, all those kids, they were kids, young, young people. It was low and slow, you know, it cruises about 70, 75 miles an hour and, and you fly it with the doors open and you know, wave at people because you're never very high. You know. um, it's just all around sport airplane. It's 
fun airplane to fly. It's kind of unique, and uh, I'm real happy that it's going to find a new home through the EAA. And, and you know, there's a satisfaction in being able to pass on to somebody else what you've learned or, or have done. I know I have sent my coupons in, you know, in the years, and I think, boy, it'd be fun to win one of those, you know. And, um, I just hope the per person that gets this airplane um, really can enjoy it. And, you know, they're winning, and I hope they realize what they're winning, you know, that it's just not another airplane. Uh, they're winning a piece of our American heritage. And I think this is a great venue for that, that the EAA is, is providing that opportunity to somebody.